My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me and that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask you for pardon for my sins and for the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me. In those opening words, we have professed our faith, Jesus, in your presence. We say, my Lord and my God, those beautiful words of St. John, after the resurrection, he sees Jesus on the, on the shoreline. It's one of the first times they've seen Jesus after his resurrection. And the, the beautiful catch of fish, the miraculous catch of fish, in, uh, invites John to that beautiful act of faith, my Lord and my God. And we use it in our opening prayer. My Lord and my God, I believe that you're here. So the whole of our opening prayer is rooted in faith. It's a faith-filled prayer that, that says out loud, Jesus, I'm talking to you. Jesus, I want this time to be for you. Many, many of the saints encourage uh, those they were uh, guiding or writing to at the beginning of a time of prayer to put themselves in the presence of God. Again and again, we see this being true in the spiritual tradition. Place yourself into the presence of God at the beginning of prayer. It just defines the whole time that we're going to spend. And it's the same for us. Jesus, we've we've said those words that are the same words we say at the beginning of every meditation. And for that reason, they can become a little bit familiar. We can lose their freshness. But we want to pray those words carefully. We want to ask ourselves, do, do I believe Jesus is with me now? Do I believe Jesus is is listening to me now. Do I believe Jesus wants to help me with whatever's on my heart right now? And we tell him, Jesus, I believe it. My Lord and my God, I firmly believe you're here, that you're with me right now. Maybe I sense your peace in my heart as we pray. Maybe something speaks to me of, of your beauty. Maybe I'm in the natural world as I pray this meditation. Maybe something sits heavily on my heart as I begin this time of prayer. And perhaps it's more difficult to feel your presence, Lord God. In the midst of whatever it is we choose, because faith is so much a choice, it's an act of the will. Jesus, I believe that you're here. I believe you see me. And I believe you hear me. For that reason, I adore you, as the prayer goes on to say. And the gospel today that we are meditating on is filled with faith, or rather with an invitation to faith. So Jesus and his disciples have been at the top of Mount Tabor, and they come down from the mount after Jesus' transfiguration, Peter, James, and John. And they come to the bottom of the mountain and there they're met by this this dad this father and he says my son has this condition that throws him around and and nothing can nothing can help him and i brought him to your disciples and and they couldn't help him and i don't know what to do next and jesus you lament oh faithless and perverse generation how long must i be with you how long must i bear with you it's a surprising response. Sometimes we maybe expect Jesus um, that you you won't show emotion. You won't show your emotions. You'll you'll just kind of you know gentle Jesus, meek and gentle. Mm, doesn't feel anything. That wouldn't be human. That wouldn't be to be fully incarnate. And we believe Jesus that you took on our whole humanity in becoming man, God becomes man in every single way except sin and so we know that when you reveal something of your heart to us there's not even a shadow there's no shadow within it it's always authentically good fully good so how can we take your response oh faithless and perverse generation you lament jesus that there's lack of faith around you 
perverse. Um, literally, the Greek word means um, to be working against, to be to be going in another direction. And so, it, this is what hurts you the most in this passage that we meditate on today, is that that the lack of faith around you means. It's going in another direction, the opposite direction to God's will. God longs for us to believe, to believe in the power that he sent to the world in, in his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus, we believe in your power, your power to save, your power to heal, your power to console, your power to forgive, your power to be close. We believe in that power. But perhaps our faith doesn't come automatically and this is what maybe was happening to the disciples we don't know what the disciples said to the dad we don't know what maybe what prayer they'd said or or what they'd said to the dad to to make this illness go away we only know that jesus lamented their lack of faith and then they say later you know jesus why was it why was it that we were unable to to help this man why why was it that we were unable to to cast out the, the, the demon from his child, to heal the child. And Jesus, you're very clear with them. Because of your lack of faith, your lack of faith, the opposite of that, the, the corollary, we could say, the, the other side of the coin, is that with faith, they can do anything they want. <laughs> they there is no there's no obstacle with faith there is no obstacle and jesus you give that example uh, it was a famous example at the time of, among preachers to talk about moving mountains you know if you had faith the size of a mustard seed so jesus you say elsewhere that's the smallest of all seeds then if your faith was that big you would be able to move this mountain one of the biggest things we can imagine in the natural world from here to there okay so it's it's not a literal image it's it's an image of prayer it's an image of uh, it's a metaphor to say all it takes is the littlest faith and you can do wonders and so this is why we we need to come back and ask about what's my faith like when i'm in the mass for example when i go to mass maybe on a sun i mean of course on a sunday but maybe we go on other days as well it's a great great prayer to be part of the, the, the prayer of the Mass is such a privilege for us on earth. To become present, physically present, to the Word of God being um, anointed over us. And to be present to the body and blood of our Saviour given to us in Holy Communion. This is just phenomenal. And yet, like all things, we can become familiar. I can ask myself, when I'm in the Mass... Am I professing my faith consciously at different points in the Mass? Do I, maybe before I sit down for the readings, do I say, I believe you want to speak to me, Lord? Maybe at the offertory, I believe that, that I offer my ordinary life in, these, in the gift of bread and wine, and they're about to become something amazing. Do I profess my faith in the Eucharistic prayer? I believe the Holy Spirit is with us. I believe the angels and saints are around the altar adoring. I believe, Jesus, you're there. You look like a piece of bread. You look like a chalice of wine. And yet through the prayer of consecration, through the power of the Holy Spirit, I believe it's you. You're really here. Do I give voice to my faith in that way? We call it acts of faith. Acts of faith. Maybe it's something during the day. Lord, I believe that you're with me as, I, as I'm about to go into this meeting. Jesus, I believe that you're going to give me the grace I need in this difficult conversation. All these, all these different ways in our life. And Jesus, you, you lamented the fact that the disciples didn't have faith. And so the opposite of that is, well, I want a lot of faith. <laughs> I want faith. And especially, you know, if we, are, if we are those people who maybe other people come to, to look for help, to look for advice, to look for guidance, well, well, where am I pointing them? Am I pointing that person to myself or to Jesus? Do I say, well, well, let's pray. Do I say to the person, let's pray together about that? Or maybe I say to the person, have you ever thought of praying about that? Have you given that to Jesus? 
my faith needs to be strong in order to point uh, someone else to faith. But that will only happen if, I, if I'm consciously making acts of faith, um, acts of love, to tell Jesus often, I believe that you are here, that you see me and that you hear me. So most of all, we thank you, Jesus, and not just, not just our faith you want, but also our thanksgiving, that we profess our faith, and for that reason, we thank you that you're with us. We thank you. Thank you that you're so kind to us, that you're so gracious, that you bless us so abundantly, and that you bless us with a mother, your own mother, Mary. Mary, we believe that you're praying for us all the time, that you're keeping us faithful to Jesus, all the grace we need comes through your hands, straight from God the Father. Thank you, Mother. I give you thanks, my God, for the good resolutions, affections and inspirations you've communicated to me in this meditation. I ask you for help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.